We've got a brutal, it's pretty tough for the Clinton campaign to see this new batch of polls. Shows Donald Trump winning against Hillary Clinton in several key swing states. So let's look at this. In Ohio, we've got CNN polls showing Donald Trump, he's at a five percentage point lead, 46 to 41. Florida, he's up by three percentage points. Let's show the Monmouth poll. Uh, we've got in Nevada, Clinton down by two points. That's still a pretty tight race. Trump is there, up there, two percentage point points there. To our political panel, we've got former Deputy Campaign Director George H.W. Bush. Uh, you were the campaign director, Mike. Is that right, Mark? Sorry. Forty-one. Who knew? Isn't that something? Yeah. H.W. And we got Democrat strategist Danielle McLaughlin. What do you make of the results here, Danielle? I think we look, need to look at the trends, and the trends show that certainly she's had a cu tough couple of weeks. She was off the campaign trail uh, in uh, she was off the campaign trail in August. Uh, she just had these pretty terrible things: the basket of deplorables, and of course the illness. So I think. Yeah, not a good week, and we're starting to see circular. We're seeing the polling reflecting what's happening on the campaign. I think trend-wise, she's doing pretty well, and she is putting states in play that no Democrat has done in a really long time. You know, but Hillary's still saying, you know, the Trump campaign. It's not a serious campaign. You just can't. It's not a serious. He's not a serious candidate, Mark. That's not working at all. Look, if we go back to August first, okay? Sick. What a different six weeks make. Back in August 1st, this campaign was in the White House taking measurements where, where they would install her chairlift up to the, the master staircase, okay? They were so confident they were going to win this race. They were smug about it, totally overconfident. Now today, we've got polls like this to show there is a trend line. The trend is what you look for. These polls right now are more credible because most of them are polling likely voters, not just registered voters. Yeah, and Daniel, here's the th um, you know, Hillary Clinton just at a press conference before saying she wants to unite the country. Yes. I mean, but President Obama has been pretty divisive, right? Calling Americans lazy overseas, uh, you know, just just constant division. That, that's the, the the country's never been this divided. What Donald Trump it seems that he's saying is, listen, jobs aren't great. Average income growth in the swing states down, you know, to where it was in 2008 levels. You're talking, you know, Nevada, North Carolina, Florida. Well, a couple weak, of things. Weak economic growth. Sure, a couple of things. President Obama has great uh, approval ratings. We've seen these come out this week. So as we're seeing the sort of sunset of his campaign, with, excuse me, the sunset of his presidency, he is... He's, a, he's been a good president, many, many Americans. Yeah, but, that, but how does that president. explain Donald Trump coming on strong? Well, when you're, the, when you're not the incumbent, when you're not the incumbent party, of course you come out and you say, America isn't great, we've got a terrible economy. Well, it is not. Go ahead, it's Mark. It's not. It's truthful. Look. Look the, at the census results. President Obama, Don no Tuesday. matter what he says, okay, it, it, the results, the, the, uh, the income that people were taking home, it went up in 2015. But what did it do between 2007 and 2014? It was down, four, median income was down $4,000 per household. It's the working class in this country who are still suffering, and he's looking past it. And that's why Hillary Clinton, who comes off as this sickly grandmother, cannot possibly relate to these people across the country. Yeah, and Danielle, you know, I mean, some are out there saying, listen, President Obama inherited a recession, including the... Which you know, he did. The, well, hang on. <laughs> Reagan, though, inherited, you know, there was a bad recession in the Carter era and two terrible recessions, a major banking collapse, Citigroup's collapse of, you know, for the first of three bank, banking collapses. And, but Reagan, I mean, economic growth really popped under Ronald Reagan. We haven't seen that. And by the way, income still went down. Incomes were going, uh, you know, the growth was there in the GW, mm -hmm. 3%. You know, it's still flatlining and income's going down. Well, to your point, Liz, about Reagan, what Reagan did was cut taxes. And we all know that that is obviously something that is a economic stimulator. But the problem is then you create a deficit. And that deficit has gone on and on. And certainly has been built under Obama, but that certainly is something that happened. You know, both of these okay. candidates, I mean, you, we don't have a lot of time, but, you know, they both want to build an economy and create jobs. No Final question word, about five that. seconds. One candidate wants tax cuts, the other one doesn't. One ca candidate wants to reduce regulations, the other one doesn't. Okay. That's all you need to know. Thank you, Mark Serrano, Danielle McLaughlin. A major recall announced by the Consumer Product Safety.